Ayan po mga kababayan, welcome to Kababayan Today. Ako po si G. Tonji at hindi pwedeng simulan ang ating programa this Wednesday without news from our friends at Asian Journal. Asian Journal, the Filipino-American community newspaper since 1991. Kasama siyempre natin si Annie Napomuseno, ang ating Los Angeles correspondent. Magandang hapon sa iyo, G. Magandang hapon din. At ito ang ating mga balita mula sa Asian Journal. 15-year-old Adrian Jerry Gonzalez, who is being charged as an adult, pleaded not guilty on Monday for the alleged July murder of an 8-year-old girl. Gonzalez faces one count of murder for the alleged kidnapping, sexual assault, binding the victim in duct tape, which led to the murder of Madison or Maddie Middleton. If convicted, Gonzalez may face life in prison, but because of his age, he is not eligible for the death penalty. He is ordered to reappear in court on October 29. All right. Uh, stunning news. Uh, wala akong masabi doon. Yes, this is really sad. These um, two individuals, the victim and the, per the alleged perpetrator, were playmates in a small community, which is actually only 250 people. So the people there, they're saying that we lost two children because of this and they're they are equally stunned if not more okay let's move on to our next story from asian journal president barack obama has nominated filipino rear admiral raquel c bono to the rank of vice admiral in the u.s navy and as the director of the defense health agency or dha if approved bono will become the highest ranking filipino american naval officer in the u.s she may oversee the execution of military health programs, which include providing common health services for military hospitals and clinics. Bono and her younger brother, retired Rear Admiral Anatolio B. or A.B. Cruz III, made U.S. Navy history in 2012 when they first became the only Filipino siblings to hold flag officer rank simultaneously, according to the DHA. Yes, very good news indeed. So proud to be Pinoy because of people like them. Okay, mm -hmm. moving on to our last story for today. Yes, everybody's excited because Pope Francis arrived in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday, September 22nd, kicking off his six-day visit to the United States. On Wednesday morning, he was welcomed by a grand arrival ceremony on the South Lawn of the White House, followed by a 45-minute private meeting with President Obama. He will also address the Senate and House in a joint session, the first Pope ever to address Congress. On Friday, he is off to New York for various events, including a meeting with United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, a procession in Central Park, and mass at Madison Square Garden. He will also be in Philadelphia over the weekend for the World Meeting of Families. Yes, I know everybody is excited. Maraming mga Pilipino ang pumunta sa Washington, D.C. Yes, exactly. And they're camping out there. Free tickets were giving out, but given up, but syempre they naubos kagad yun. Oh, oh. Maraming salamat, Annie, for coming to the show. And uh, you. if you want the complete details, check out the website, asianjournal.com. Magbabalik kami dito because it's Life Insurance Awareness Month here on the show. <laughs> 